at the Museum of Modern Art in Midtown, a new exhibit called Guillermo del Toro Crafting Pinocchio is tied to the release of his new movie, which was created using a technique of animation called stop motion. On view at MoMA are the very elaborate model sets and puppets used to make Pinocchio. Entertainment reporter Sandy Kenyon met with him there to learn more. Stop motion animation is a technique as old as cinema itself. Created one frame at a time by hand using puppets moved ever so slightly between shots. When shown one after another, the frames create the illusion of movement. I was uh, in my teens when I started making molds. A visit to an exhibit at MoMA is a return to his roots for Guillermo del Toro, who got his start in this craft. We wanted to create a movie about a puppet executed by using puppets to tell the tale. The story of Pinocchio has fascinated the director since childhood. I love the possibility of making a Pinocchio that is disobedient and that doesn't have to change to satisfy others. Papa! The tale of a toy maker whose creation comes to life has a special resonance for a director who often injects fantasy into the real world of his movies. This one required what he calls an artisanal approach. In an era where everything is digital and people think, uh, when they see animation, they think computer, we are doing something hand-painted, hand-molded, hand-created. We go out and we find the best artists who can create these amazing props and sets and, and they just pour themselves into this. To have their items exhibited in such a prestigious setting is a fitting tribute to everyone who worked so hard. They would never exhibit at MoMA. Now, those sculptors, painters, have a piece of MoMA, and it feels fantastic. 